all the people saw the man who had been lame walking and heard him praising God when they realized he was the lame beggar they had seen so often at the beautiful gate, they were absolutely astounded. They all rushed out in amazement to Solomon's colonnade, where the man was holding tightly to Peter and John, Acts 3, 9 through 11 in the NLT. Key thought, don't you love Luke's phrase, absolutely astounded? I would have been bewildered and amazed. Two, a man who had sat for years at the same gate with withered feet and ankles begging for a few loose coins now was jumping, leaping, praising God and entering the temple on his own two feet. Praise God. How does such an astounding miracle happen? It was Jesus, the Messiah from Nazareth, who gave full healing in an instant to this former lame beggar, Acts 3, 6. Who could argue with his testimony? He was transformed in every way. Spiritually, he was jubilant. Physically, he was healed. And interpersonally, he was no longer a helpless beggar and was now leading a horde of people to learn the story of Jesus. So here's a question for each of us. Since Jesus could produce so many changes for a man who met Peter and John at the beautiful gate and who was healed by Jesus, what can he do for you and me? But wait, if we have been saved by grace through faith, hasn't he already done something even greater in us? Absolutely. And that means, my dear friends, in Christ, we also have a testimony to share. So I invite you to share your testimony with whom the Holy Spirit leads you and invite them to your local church for fellowship and see that God is more than good. Let us pray. Oh, Father, your grace has reached us, transformed us, and empowered us through your Spirit. I pray that my life will be a living display to others of what Jesus can do. I also pray that we can lead people to Jesus too. I ask this in Jesus' name so we can share your grace. Amen.